Welcome to the lather at it. We're going to be doing a little shaving and a little conversating. So, uh, this is my first shave video. I can't tell you. I think I've restarted this video. This is the fourth time that I've restarted this video, trying to get it just right, trying to stare at the camera and not at the, the screen so my eyes aren't doing the weird left, right, left, right, left, right. So, uh, you know, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Something I've been wanting to do for a little bit, so I'm just going to dive into the deep end. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Soap I'm going to be using, nothing fancy. It's good. I like it. Cremo, shave stick. Um, this is vanilla orchid. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm staring into the lens and not the camera. Okay. So, uh, it's good. Yeah. Really floral. Not really vanilla. But, uh... It's good stuff. Yeah. You know. Slickness is good. The cushion is okay. Post shave. Yeah. Not really. It is better cushion than this. Which sometimes I use as a pre-shave. Just because it's really slick. Uh, it's not really cushiony but it's really slick but there again this is like big box store stuff you can get you know you name it walmart target wherever you know the deal it's not artisan stuff uh it's good to get started with and learn on because it's cheap um uh, you know it's not how i started but you know, I have acquired it. I have another Primo, Cremo, some people say Cremo. I don't know. I'm from the South, so it's Cremo to me. Uh, refreshing Mint, which is nice. You can see that. Focus in. Refreshing Mint. This is good, too. This smells better than that one. Kind of smells like a York Peppermint Patty. But... We're going to use vanilla orchid because I already got it out. Uh, see the brush. It's been soaking. Good brush. It's a bore. Samo 830. This is the bore brush. Uh, I think the 610 is the, is the blonde, I think, because this is uh, made to look like, you know, two band. You can see that right there. So it's a good brush. It's been soaking. It's broke in. I did the three day fridge break in. Uh, somebody on my Facebook, one of the Facebook groups I'm in, mentioned it. So I used it. It worked great. It's broke in. The razor we're going to be using is a 69. Super adjustable, 109, the Black Beauty. This was not my first razor. Um, I'll go into the story of first razor and you know, how I started wet shaving in another video. I don't want to bore y'all or make this one too long. I've already restarted it enough. So, But we're going to be on setting three, if you can see that right there, setting three. So, uh, and let's see, the blade we're going to be using is the second use on a silver blue. There's the dot right there, second use, silver blue. So we're going to load this up. Yeah, these are good blades. I get some really good shades with these Gillettes. Not my favorite blade, but uh, yeah, I've never had a bad shade with one with the bad razor okay i locked it in quarter turn good to go i'm gonna wet the face i already have but all this talking is dried out so i'll be back in a sec
Yeah. So, uh, I love making lather, man. And this stuff, you know, some people have said, well, you know, how to use a shave stick. Well, this is how I use it. it may not be the right way, but it's my way. So, open up and just glide it over your skin. Now, it doesn't take a lot. Just where you have a paste. And I've seen some people Take it, let me get this brush, squeeze, take the brush and all this residual soap, just put it on the brush. I've seen some people take the brush and load like that. I don't do that. It's just a personal preference. Okay. This, just a dip, just a dip. And when I say a dip right there, where it goes from blonde to brown, that's all you're dipping. All right, a shake. Let's make a lather. And like I said, this isn't this isn't artisan soap, so, but it is very thirsty soap. And you can make a decent lather with it. I think. I think it needs a little bit of water. So, I'm going to dip and come back to the face. And this Samoog has really good backbone. Even though I did the break in, which it still feels like every time I use it, it's getting better and better each time I use it. We're gonna go for a dip again. So, but the one thing that I don't like about these natural, natural hair brushes, is they tend to hog the lather. I don't know if y'all have heard that saying, hog the lather, ladder, lather. I didn't know what that meant for a long time, but Once I learned what it meant, that all that lather gets pushed down into the base of this knot. So you'll think you have a good lather, but it's all watered down in the base. So. Alright, that looks okay. Looks okay. I think we got enough soap on here for another pass. Maybe two. We need it. Alright, there you go. Cheap, uh, stick soap. I mean, you know, that's a good lather. Look at that. Look at that stuff. And, you know, like I said, it's a good way to learn. One thing about my channel is, you know, I'm no expert. I haven't been doing it long enough to be called an expert. And I don't even know if I want to be called an expert. I keep looking that way, I can tell. See how newbie I am to this? But, uh, you know, I like my channel to be able to, hey, if I learn something, you learn something. If you learn something, leave it down in the comments. We're going to learn together. So, 
That's what I would like to accomplish. I've been shaving, wet shaving, totally about a year or so. I started about five years ago and had a horrible experience. So, but I'll go into that further videos. I don't want to bore y'all with too much. Okay, here we go. First pass, setting three, Gillette Silver Blue, second use. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But I will tell you that if you're new, you're new to DE shaving, you're coming from you know, cart or whatever, and you're not sure, I'm going to tell you one word of advice that my first experience into wet shaving like this, you know, traditional wet shaving, because I mean, let's be honest, if you're using a cart and, you know, some, some edge, pro gel, you Barbasol, you're wet shaving. If it's water, you're wet shaving. But, there is a difference in technique. And I can tell you, once I pick this up, I'll never go back to using carts again. I mean, it's just a better shave. It's, it's relaxing. It's enjoyable. Every once in a while, you'll have a nick, whatever. But, I mean, Razor burn, razor bumps. Yeah, that's a thing of the past. But I was gonna say, oh, that's the first pass by. I was gonna say, what I love about these old Gillette adjustables is that the head is very heavy. That's a good thing heavy head you want to let the razor do the cutting no no pressure don't push down into your skin just set it up there and just glide just let it fall just let it fall and with a heavy headed razor it's easier to learn that than as to a DE 89 super light. I mean this compared to this It's this the head on this is so heavy. I mean it just does it. This is super light super mild. I Love this, but it leads to Poor technique on me because I just man I speed through And I'm not slowing down and I'm not concentrating so good razor you know I don't want to get you know hold up on the spears yet you know don't you know don't throw me under the bus I love this razor I'm gonna be using it but it's super mild and it took me a while to learn that not every razor is the same so, all right, let me rinse. All right, first pass done. Like I said, slickness. It's slick, so cushion is okay. It's better than that, the other in the tube, but residual. It's okay. I mean, but here we go. That was with the grain, which my hair, man, it grows so squirrely. That's another thing I had to learn. And maybe 
you know, maybe I'll touch on that in later videos. But my hair, it does not behave right on my face at all. So I got some soap on that bad boy. Clean this up here. But yeah. My hair. Getting back to that. It grows. Down. Up. Down. Back. So that pass north to south was with, across, and against. Right over here, man, this grows, it's, it's like a crop circle right here. And I got to go this way, this way, up, down, crazy. But it took me a while to learn that, man, because I used to get ate up on my neck bad, ate up bad and I used to do you know the down and the back and the up but technique trumps technique is everything so here we go we went north to south we're going south to north now and you know I'm not saying that I still don't, you know, hell, I still get weepers. I think everybody has a bad shave every once in a while, man. You know? But, and if it wasn't for guys like, you know, Ken Surfs, man, the Geo Fat Boy, you know, Watching those guys, like, man, you know, what am I doing wrong? You know, the stallion. I mean, you know, watching those guys, I thought to myself, man, what am I doing wrong? You know, why can't I figure this out? So, I just, you know, gave up at first, you know. And I mean... You know, I just, you know, I grew out the beard. I had it for about you know, three years, solid, like down to here. And, uh, you know, man, I just missed it. I missed, you know, I missed the sense of the aftershaves. You know. You know, the relaxation you know, I missed it man. so hey <laughs> like I'm straight into the fire man all right so I'm a rinse all right that's two down and uh I mean it's pretty good that that is pretty good but remember this grows this way so i don't know if you can hear that hear all that yep so you know what that means another pass so well while i'm sitting here lathering up i'll tell y'all my wife got me a shaving set for Christmas about four years ago, four or five years ago, I think. And it was a, it was a Badger brush. I don't remember the brand, but I know it was Badger. And a shave mug and whoop, a nice 
nice reflexes. Slippery hands. I told you it was slick. Uh, where was I? Oh, and uh, she got me a Parker razor. And I still have the Parker razor. I think it was one of the very first 99Rs, I believe. But I know it's a Parker. At least, I think it's a Parker. I don't, I don't want to say I know. But it says Made in India on the base plate. And I know, I know that Parker's, I think Parker or Pearl. One of those. Maybe a Pearl, I don't know. And the soap, the soap she got me, I didn't know what I had at first. I'll be honest, I didn't know what it was. But later on, I learned that it was the, uh, who was it? Oh, shoot, I had it in my head. Uh, it was the, oh, it was the tops. Taylor's, uh, sandalwood. Not the cream, but the hard soap that comes in like the wooden, wooden bowl. That's what she got me. And man, it smelled so good, man. That sandalwood smelled so good. But I just, I had horrible experiences with it. I couldn't figure it out. And I was, you know, discouraged. So I gave it up. But now I'm back. And hey, we're going to get it together. Here we go. Now, this is against the grain here, right on my jawline. That's what this is going to get. And you know, like I said, man, I'm no expert. You know, so if you think that, you know, this channel is going to be, well, you know, I know all there is about wet shaving and I know all there is about every soap, every razor, no, <laughs> no, no. There's so much stuff I want to try, man. But I'm hoping that this can reach someone who was just like me, maybe. And not really a newbie, but just wants to understand, hey, that guy's like me. You know? He has the same issues I have. You know, I mean, he shaves just like I do. So, that's what I want it to be about. I'm no expert, but, you know, I know what works for me. And maybe, you know, we can learn stuff together. I can tell you, man, this super adjustable. This 109 is so nice. But when I got it, it was overclocked. It was the, the blade gap was more than what it should have been so it was overclock or underclocked one of the two i had to go in there turn it to nine press in a little pin right there and then turn it to one yeah so yeah yeah underclocked i believe but man you know i saw that on a youtube video yeah as soon as i did that man it, it clicked all right we're going to rinse. And now, 
check and see what we missed. That's pretty good. I like it. You know. You see how much soap is left in this brush. A little bit. A little bit, not much. I mean, you know, see what I mean about the holding water in the base? See all that? That's you know, you really gotta you gotta load it and you you know, you gotta load those bores a lot. But they make great lather once you you gotta load them a bunch because they hold so much water in the base. So alright, I'm gonna rinse all this off hot and then cold. Give me one second. See, I'm usually I'm usually a morning shaver, but this is seven o'clock in the evening at my house. So, with having to work in the mornings, and uh, you know, I just don't have time to film anything. So, I'm having to adjust myself shaving in the evening time, except maybe on the weekends. But yeah, that's uh, I like that right there. That's that's a good shave. That's a good shave. And close and comfortable. I mean, off of this right here. This. So, okay, like I said, the aftershave, skin bracer. And just regular skin bracer, man. Oh, but that smell. I mean, and you know, my wife got me these little decanter. They're glass, so I always heard, you know, it lasts longer in glass, so. But there's no uh, reducer, so. Finger over. I don't even know if my wife even likes the smell of this. <sighs> I can't remember. Okay. Now, excuse me. Balm. I like putting it on. It's cold here now. Southwest Alabama, so. This is good stuff. Nivea for men. This is like the... I don't know, man. Like a lotion more than it is, especially for your face, your body, and I think hands. I think it says, yeah, hands. It's good stuff. So, and if you, you know, if you if you get too much, look at that. There you go. <laughs> if you get a bad shave, man. This stuff right here, oh, very soothing. Irritation, razor burn. This stuff is great. I got some, uh, uh, I got some Bay Rum. Man, I'm telling you what. When I put that stuff on, man, my face is like I've been in like a slapping contest. Don't hurt, but man, it just, it turns red, but I love it so much. I got to put some of this balm on or else walk out of the shower, you know, out of the bathroom. It's like, you know, who'd you get in a fight with? So, but, uh, all right, let's, uh, I'll show you what I use and, uh, so uh, we did the uh, we did the cremo, crema, shave stick, you know, vanilla, orchid. Not really vanilla, but kind of floral. We did the samog, 
830 bore. Love this brush. We did the Black Beauty 69 setting three with the Gillette Silver Blue. You can see that right there, maybe. Silver Blue, second use on that Silver Blue. Finished it up with the uh, Skin Bracer and uh, it's a Nivea for Men Balm. So I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Uh, more videos to come, brother. We're going to do this thing together. We're going to learn together. We're going to share. We're going to share stories. Share a shave and a story. I'm just a guy that's standing in front of his sink, man, shaving, you know, talking to the camera. So I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the length of the video. Maybe future videos won't be so long, but uh, we'll see you next time, guys. And uh, remember, Lather Attic has your back.